Hey guys, welcome to the React Native Mastery course. In this course, we are going to build an e-commerce app which you can see on your screen. Okay, so let's uh, see a quickly of this app. So you can see that on the top we have an header component, and after that we have a, a header text matcher style, and we have a search input along with the search icon, and we can type anything. Okay, and we can close it. Now after that we have a scrollable category item which you can scroll and click on that. When you click on that uh, any category it will get highlighted. So we are also going to build this up. After that if you scroll down we can see a list of products item along with the product image, product title and the product price. And there is one icon which is like icon and if we click on that like icon it will get liked and it will become you know filled heard okay after that if we can see that we have how it's great looking ui it's looking too good right now if let's suppose uh, i want to uh, see the product about this so we have to just click on this product it will open a product details page and we can see that we are using a reusable header component which we have created already okay now it, it you can see that we have a product image and product uh, title and the product price we can select the size whatever size we want let's suppose i want the size will be large and the color which i want that is blue and whenever we click on any uh, color it will you know create another border uh, out of the color we all also going to build this up and if we click on add to cart you can see that that item is added inside our cart and you can see that on the bottom tab the cart count get increased with the one okay and you can see that uh, we have a my cart header and we are going to build only one header and we're gonna reuse that header component so you don't have to write header component and again and again after that you can see the price and the total price is 39 and if we click on this back icon it will went to the home screen again and let's add this denim jacket okay and the size which i want that will excel and the color which i want uh, that will be gray and add to when i click on add to cart the item is added to the cart and the cart count get increased with plus one and it become two and you can see that now the total price will get changed with the 109 and we are doing all the sum operation right now let's add one more item quickly so i'm going to use uh, this uh wind wind breaker okay the price is 59 dollar and let's select the color is a, a black and the size will which i want is a small and you can see that whenever we are selecting a size the color of that size get changed with black to red and let's click on add to cart now the cart count get increased with three okay now we have a three items inside our cart and we can see that the total price awesome the total price if you see that it's at 169 we are doing the calculation as well and let's suppose if i want to remove this denim jacket so we have to just click on delete icon it will get removed from the cart and the cart count get uh, decrease okay and we are able to so the total sum is also updated with the new value so we are going to pull this whole e-commerce app uh, from the scratch okay uh, this is like this is the project is beginner friendly so you guys can build it up with me okay so uh, we are going to build like you know reusable header component we are going to build this home screen after that we gonna build this product details screen and we gonna have a also called my card screen i have also provided you guys the figma so there's a figma which you can see and you hack and reference of the, the course completion and can build it on by yourself okay and i will provide this figma link in the description you can check it out and after that uh, in this course what we are going to learn basically so if you talk if you're talking uh, about the libraries and technology we are going to use react native we are going to learn how to build bottom tap navigation okay and we are also going to use like how to build uh, this gradient linear gradient background using the react native linear gradient background we are also going to use react native vectors icons to use this to show the icons okay 
and we are also gonna use use context api to global state management basically when how does you know we can access the data from any component okay so we are going to learn about the use context hooks also and we are also gonna use the async story so we store the item if we reload our app still the data gets persist due to the async storage so we will also learn how to do CRUD operation using the async storage and this is the beginning friendly you don't have to have a lot of knowledge you guys can have learned uh, by following this course okay so this is the figma which you guys can reference in the list uh, after that i will also provide this my whatsapp group uh, here we can discuss if you guys have any facing any issue any error uh, regarding this course and following up my course so you can just ping me on the group anyone can help you out and i will also help you out okay so this is the introduction video in the next video we are going to do the product project setup and and after that we're gonna build this up so yeah that's all in this video uh thank you guys keep supporting keep loving and yeah keep building something new thank you bye